AI Historic Expeditions presents Power, Intrigue, and Scandal, The Wives of Rome's First Three Emperors. Step into the world of ancient Rome, where power, politics, and passion collide in the lives of its most influential leaders. Join us on a journey through the reigns of the first three Roman emperors, Caesar Augustus, Tiberius, and Caligula, and discover the hidden stories of their wives who played pivotal roles in the history of the Roman Empire. Get ready for a thrilling ride through the twists and turns of ancient Rome as we uncover the fascinating lives of these legendary figures. Let's start with the man who brought about the end of the Roman Republic and ushered in the era of the Roman Empire, the first Roman Emperor, Caesar Augustus. Octavian, also known as Caesar Augustus, was the first Roman Emperor. Following the assassination of his maternal great-uncle Julius Caesar, Octavius was named as Caesar's adopted son and heir in his will. He is recognized for his establishment of the Roman Principate, marking the beginning of the Roman Empire, and is widely regarded as one of the greatest leaders in human history. Claudia was offered to Octavian by her mother Fulvia for political reasons and became his first wife. However, despite the political significance of their union, Little is known about their marriage, and there is limited information available about Claudia herself. Scribonia was married to Octavian as his second wife. However, their marriage was short-lived, as Octavian divorced her on the very day that she gave birth to their only biological child, a daughter named Julia the Elder. Livia Drusilla, the first empress of Rome, was known for her strong influence over her husband, Emperor Augustus. According to ancient historians, she took steps to eliminate any potential heirs to the throne and ensure her own son, Tiberius, was named as successor. There were even suspicions of foul play when Augustus died in A.D. 14 at the age of 70. Tiberius was the second Roman emperor, reigning from A.D. 14 to 37. He was a successful general and a capable administrator, but his reign was marked by paranoia and cruelty. He withdrew from Rome in his later years, leaving the government in the hands of the Praetorian Guard and his notorious advisor, Sejanus. Tiberius died on the island of Capri, where he had retired in seclusion. When Vipsania was still a baby, she was betrothed to Tiberius, Augustus's stepson. Despite having a happy marriage, Vipsania and Tiberius were forced to divorce by Augustus. Even though Tiberius didn't want to divorce Vipsania, Augustus insisted on him marrying Julia to connect Tiberius's growing power to the Julian family. At the time of their divorce, Vipsania was carrying their second child, who unfortunately did not survive. Tiberius was heartbroken and deeply regretted his decision to divorce Vipsania, often caught gazing at her with tears in his eyes. Julia, the only biological child of Augustus, had a complex family history. As the stepsister and second wife of Emperor Tiberius, Julia was also the maternal grandmother of Emperor Caligula and Empress Agrippina the Younger, grandmother-in-law of Emperor Claudius, and maternal great-grandmother of Emperor Nero. However, the marriage between Julia and Tiberius was fraught with difficulty, as Tiberius deeply regretted his decision to divorce his first wife Vipsania. This regret blighted their marriage almost from the beginning, and their only son died in infancy. Caligula was the third Roman emperor. Despite being popular in the early days of his reign, he became known for his cruel and erratic behavior, as well as his scandals and abuses of power. One of Caligula's most notorious scandals was his incestuous relationship with his sister Drusilla, whom he openly proclaimed as his lover and even named her Auguasta as a mark of his power. Caligula also had a reputation for excessive and wasteful spending often throwing extravagant parties and building grandiose projects, such as a bridge made of boats across the Bay of Naples. Another infamous scandal associated with Caligula was his alleged plan to make his horse, Incitatus, a consul. Overall, Caligula's reign was marked by instability, paranoia, and violence, which ultimately led to his assassination in 41 AD by members of his own Praetorian Guard. Junia Claudilla also known as Junia Claudia, was the first wife of the infamous Roman emperor Caligula. 
Their marriage was arranged by Caligula's granduncle, Emperor Tiberius, who gave Claudilla to the young prince as his bride. Sadly, Claudilla died while giving birth to Caligula's first child, who also tragically did not survive. Interestingly, there are no known coins depicting Claudilla, which is possibly due to her untimely death before Caligula ascended to the throne. Livia Orestilla was originally married to Gaius Calpurnius Piso, but according to Dio and Suetonius, Caligula persuaded or forced Piso to annul the marriage so that he could marry Orestilla. The events reportedly took place during Piso and Orestia's wedding celebrations. Caligula's proclamation on the following day was that he had acquired a new wife in the tradition of Romulus and Augustus, who had both taken wives from other men. Lolia Paulina, a woman who briefly held the title of Roman Empress, was Caligula's third wife and consort. Prior to her marriage with Caligula, she was already married to a man named Regulus. However, Caligula ordered her to leave her husband after overhearing a remark about the beauty of her grandmother. Unfortunately, her reign as empress was short-lived, as Caligula divorced her after just six months of marriage. According to Suetonius, when Caligula married Melonia, she was already the mother of three daughters from her previous marriage and was neither young nor beautiful. Despite her reckless extravagance and wantonness, Caligula loved her passionately and remained faithful to her. Juvenal suggests that Caligula's madness may have been caused by a love potion administered by Melonia. Thanks for watching this video about the first three Roman emperors and their wives. We hope you enjoyed learning about the lives and relationships of these historical figures. Make sure to like and subscribe for more historical content, and let us know in the comments which emperor and spouse you found the most interesting. Thanks again for watching.